Good morning to each of you. I appreciate you taking time out of your schedule this morning to hear what the Lord has laid on my heart. What a great day it is to be a child of God. We talk about that an awful lot. Experiencing our relationship in the newness of Jesus in our lives. Today I walked in the building and this plant caught my attention. I've walked by this plant, no doubt, hundreds, if, if probably thousands of times. But for some reason, the Holy Spirit just drew me to this plant this morning. Now, what you have to understand, as beautiful as, it, as this plant is, we have several of them sitting around our building today. But this plant is not real. This plant has not grown any since we brought it in this room. Now, the good news about that plant being artificial is hadn't changed. It hadn't died. Uh, but my thought today is this plant has not grown. So I begin to think about we as individuals and we as children of God and we as Christians, are you and I growing in Christ or are we remaining the same? You see, because on the outside, just at a simple glance, this plant looks healthy. It looks like that it's vibrant and it's growing. But in reality, it is not changing. It's staying the same. And I wonder just how many of us in the natural and in the spiritual, we're just not changing. We're in the same rut we were in a year ago. Some of us may be in the same rut we were in years ago. Friend, if we are in Christ, the Word says we are a new creature. It goes on to say, old things have passed away and now we have become something new. This plant is not growing. Even though it appears to be healthy and vibrant, it is not alive. Are you alive in Christ today? Could it be that you are going to church every Sunday and those sitting around you look at you and you appear to be alive, but in reality it's just artificial. There's no real growth. There's no real progress taking place in your life. And if that you, you're stuck. And that's where we're at because we believe that God has a plan for our life. We're believing in the shallow Pentecostal hole in His church. This is going to be our great, our greatest of all time. We're calling it the GOAT 23, greatest of all time. We're seeing God grow people right here in this room. I as a pastor feel that God is growing me. I am drawn closer to Him. So therefore, we are all alive and we're vibrant. If you're stuck today, if it appears that all is well, but in your heart you know that it's all artificial, I just encourage you to come on this journey with us. You choose to walk in this bridge building, be on the Shiloh Pine, across the hole in this family, or whether you choose just to join us online, don't stay stuck, my friend. I encourage you to come alive today. You don't have to just appear to be alive, you can be alive in Christ Jesus and you can be growing. So if you're stuck, I encourage you to join us today because I believe that God has more for you. God has a plan for your life. He wants to hear the greatest of all times, not only for Shiloh, cost a whole new church, and for the preacher, you as well. May God really bless each one of you to wish you again taking time out of your schedule to listen. God bless you all. If you don't have to celebrate Him, to grow in Christ, to come, to become unstuck, could I invite you to come down Altray Mill Road, Shiloh Pentecostal Hole in His Church. The address is 2271 Altry Mill Road, Godwin, North Carolina, out in the Clement community. We'd be really glad to see you. God bless you all.